Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from House Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you a fantastic baseline inbounds play that I know will help your basketball team. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from House Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And starting May 5th, I'm going over to twice a day videos, basketball team basketball plays and drills in the morning, and individual skills and drills in the afternoon. So I'm looking forward to that, so I thought I would share that with you. But anyways, I'm going to give you this really great baseline inbounds play today. I know you're going to love. Basically, it's called the Wii baseline inbounds play it's a wheel like a like a wheel but anyways uh, this is really great let's get down to the clipboard I'm going to show you it against a man-to-man -man defense as well as against a 2-3 zone because in my history I've always seen teams use a 2-3 zone off of a baseline inbounds or a man-to-man -man. those are kind of the two most common defenses so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out this play okay so first in this play what we're going to have is player one he is going to be popping using player four and five as a double screen or a wall screen and he's going to be cutting in towards the key now if his man follows him and gets stuck on player four or five and player five here defensively doesn't help out he could be open for a layup or a reverse now if his man got through or player five helped out one of the other player one is going to clear out to the other side and now what we're going to have is player two using those same two players as a screen and he's going to be popping out to the three-point line now player two could have a three-point shot available if he does player two needs to stay down there and see what's happening so that he can be on the offensive board because technically usually generally speaking when you take a three-point shot or even a shot from one side you have a high percentage chance of it bouncing off towards the other side of the of the rim so that means that it's going to go to the to this side of the court and player one should be open for that rebound if not he's going to clear out and we're going to have player three keeping that ball obviously because let's say player two isn't open he his man got through the screen Next, what we're going to have is player four. Now he's going to be using player five as the screen and he's going to be popping down towards that midcourt area. If he's open, he can take that shot. If not, what's going to happen now is player five will be safety and he's going to pop up to the three point line. And because he's taller, he is a great safety just to lob the ball over to him so that he can grab that ball. Now let's check this out against the 2-3 zone and see how it works. Against a man-to-man, -man, it works really, really well as you can see. Okay, so first we're up against the 2-3 zone. We're going to have player 1 cutting through and he's going to be cutting down towards the rim. However, player 5 is most likely going to be cutting him off. So he's going to be popping out to the other side of the key. That way he can defensively, or at least rebounding wise, stay in front or in between the net and player 3. The other kind of idea behind this is when player 2 uses that screen and player 5 uses that screen, there's going to be a few opportunities for player 1 against the 2-3 zone. So player 2 is going to pop down, and that's going to draw player 4 out. If he doesn't get drawn out, then player 2 would be open for a 3-point shot. However, if he does, we're now going to have player 4 setting a screen for player 5, or player 5 setting a screen for player 4, depending on who is in front of who on that side. So basically, the bottom player is setting a screen for the top player, and player 4 is going to be cutting down. Now, he could be open if he is... Well, he needs to get that shot off. That's going to bring player 5 out, and if he misses, player 3 is going to be ready. Player 5 could also be collapsing towards the rim if player 4 got it as well. And if player 5 does go out to guard player 4 because he sees that happening, if player 1 is boxing out player 3, player 3 blue could just pass or bounce pass over to player 1, who could then go in for the layup. So make sure to keep player 1 there against a 2-3 zone. Of course, player 5 is still safety, lobbing it over to him. But again, there's so many different opportunities down here for those three players that I doubt you will ever need to use player 5. Now, I hope that this inbounds play helps your team. If it does, let us know in the comments below. And I will see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video. And remember, May 5th is going to be our first day on twice a day videos. I hope that you guys enjoy these. And I can't wait to get over to twice a day videos.